hi i feel like i haven't done this in forever but i wanted to make a youtube video um i think my last youtube video was like april and it was like bored in quarantine well do i have news for you it's now the middle of november and we're still in quarantine isn't that so fun but anyways as you can see i painted my room it's not yellow anymore it's green and other big changes going on i got a kitten i got a kitten i don't there oh, oh i got him watch this colby say hi <gasps> this is colby jack he's an angel you say hi i'm an angel good job good job baby and I've just been having so much fun with him. He's a little king and he's gonna help me do my makeup today. And I'm really excited about it. So let's do a little Thanksgiving look, should, shall we? So here's my idea for today. I was thinking that I wanna do a Thanksgiving look because you know, the leaves are starting to fall. I'm feeling seasonal. And I was thinking, what's my favorite like fall winter time palette? And it's the Jackie Ina palette. It came out last year in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love Jackie Ina. She's my queen. If you don't watch her, you really should because she knows what she's doing and she just brings like the best energy. And she came out with candles recently. I just got this one. I mean, obviously and not sponsored. Um, I didn't get any of the other scents, but this one, Cuffing Season, it smells so good. It doesn't smell how I thought it was gonna smell. It smells like floral and sexy and warm. Like it's like that perfect mesh of like floral and warm. Cause a lot of times it's either like only floral or like only musk. So I really like this as like a fall crossover scent when you're like done with summer, but you're not at Christmas yet. Good stuff. So we're gonna do the Jackie Ina palette on the eyes today. And I think I'm just gonna skip to the eyes because really my face routine has been so simple lately. I'm just gonna do concealer, bronzer, maybe blush, probably not. And I'll come back to you and then we'll do something fun on the eyes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did my face. As you can see, super simple, I mean, Whatever. The biggest takeaway I would say is when you're doing your under eye concealer, just do a teensy bit. We're not drawing those big fat triangles anymore. You know, just boop, boop, blend it out. And when you're doing your bronzer, the, obviously this is not my bronzer brush, but you're gonna start it high up on the temple. Don't start it down here. Start it up here, blend, you know, keep everything upward motion because you know it's quarantine we've been eating we don't need to you know add any volume to these cheeks we gotta okay so that's what you need to know so i'm looking at this palette i freaking love this palette you guys there's so many cool colors that you just don't see in other palettes i might do another um look with this palette in a next video because I just want to do something simple. I think I'm going to work with these brown tones, maybe get into this burgundy a little bit. I don't really know where this is going to go, but I want to do something kind of wearable, even though we're not leaving our houses. I don't know. Maybe you're going to Thanksgiving. Be careful. So let's just do something brown, bronzy, fun, okay? Okay, we're starting with the color Ginger. Ginger. This is the lightest brown matte in the palette. Um, I kind of have to be careful when I start off with this palette because um, this is like a little bit deeper than I would usually start off with, with like a base shade or a transition shade. But you know, you just do your little tap and then you brush off the excess and 
it's you're good to go it's fine you don't have to be scared you know what you're doing you just gotta you just gotta get in there and blend and it's no problem at all okay boom we got a little base shade down that was like one or two taps into the shadow like if you use Anastasia shadows, you know they're pigmented. You're not gonna be wasting any product. It's gonna be good. So now that we got that first shade ginger down, we're gonna go in with edges and we're gonna kind of deepen that up. So we're gonna keep that an even smaller area. I'm just gonna kind of concentrate that on the outer corner. You see that? How it just kind of adds to what we're already doing. It's not a new thought. It's a continuation. And then you can just kind of keep blending up as you go. Remember when we talked about the bronzer, everything's going to be upward motion. You want everything working its way out eventually. Be right back. Okay, so from here, we've darkened up a little bit. In my mind, we have two clear choices from here. We just did this one and this one. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat playing with a box in the background. We could move on to credit or if we're going to kind of steer things over to a more burgundy direction, we can go with pinker. I think I want to go with pinker because I never use that color. Um, so let's just take it there. I'm going to dip into that and just kind of focus that on the corner again and you know get that really rich nice cranberry tone it's beautiful okay i gotta say i really like where this is headed it's so pinky i feel like you know, like a glammed up turkey. I feel very girly. I feel very important. Um, I think we're ready for a shimmer. I could go Wigglies. I think I'm going to stick with Zam. I think we're going to put Zam all over and then maybe do a little bit of Wigglies kind of to like bridge the gap to the outer corner. I think that could be fun. I don't even know where my flat brush is, so we're just gonna use our pinky and everything's gonna be fine. Because we're not leaving the house. Yes, I love this color. I used to wear this every single day to work when I had a job and it never failed me. Everybody loves a rose gold sparkle. You really can't go wrong. Okay. I got the shimmers on. I'm taking you handheld so we can get a little bit closer. Get into the sun, maybe. Sorry, I film on my iPhone. So this probably never even looks good. But I really like this look. Okay, so now let's work on the lower lash line. We're gonna pop something on the inner corner and then I think we'll be looking pretty darn good. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna use my same like big brush. You just gotta be careful. You gotta control where you're going. I'm gonna dip into ginger and edges and just tap, tap, tap. And then we're just going to kind of carefully work that in there. There we go. Whoop. And then this is a good opportunity to keep brushing everything up past the brow bone. Really helps to connect things. Alrighty. Now we're going to Take our pinky, we're gonna hit our inner corner with Soleil. Boop. 
And then this is like Lazy Girl Central. I didn't put highlighter on or anything. So I'm just gonna take what's left over on my pinky and just kind of dot it on the bridge of my nose there. And maybe do a little bit of hair. Yeah, we've gotten real cozy in quarantine. I can't even remember the last time I did my makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use a NYX eye pencil and then maybe I'll put on lashes, maybe I won't. We'll find out. Okay. I just put mascara on. I think I am gonna put lashes on, but I just wanted to show you guys um, like what this looks like with just mascara because I really do this a lot. Like I don't wear lashes ever in public because I'm a nervous purpose. I also never wear dark lipstick in public. I'm gonna wipe this off right after I finish this video. Um, I did, I tried to overline my lips a little bit. I didn't show you guys because I'm, I'm really not qualified to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. And I think they actually look kind of okay today, but that's not the norm. Um, this lipstick is Spice Girl from Huda Beauty and I think it's the perfect name because it is serving 90s like I'm a Spice Girl okay um so I'm gonna cut my lashes and I'm gonna pop them on and then I guess me and Colby will say farewell for now here's the final look I added a little line on the end with eyeshadow it's not really eyeliner i didn't take it across i put on ardell faux minx i'm gonna be honest i really don't think they bring much to the table i don't think they look that different from my natural lashes and i kind of wish i hadn't put them on but here we are we've made it to the end of the video we made it to the end of this look and I'm so happy you came to watch it and I will be back again maybe sooner than six months maybe not whenever I'll see you then